Howie back with another scientific principles crime investigation. Yes, we only have two left, this one and one more, and then we'll be moving on to unit two, so you won't have to hear me talk about scientific principles anymore. But really, it's kind of cool to know this because you guys have to know this isn't any ordinary science class. Um, this is forensic science, but there are scientific principles that are part of this. So let's go to the next one, which is crime scene personnel. Now, I know we've talked about this in some of the other past videos that you've heard from me, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail about who shows up when and why. Okay, so that's what this section is about. So again, once again, police are typically the first on the scene. Okay, I'll, I'll give you kind of a quick story though. Um, when I was in college, I was debating whether or not I was going to go into structure fire. I wanted to be a firefighter. I did wildland firefighting for um, most of my college in the summertime. I thought, hmm, how about I'll do some ride-alongs, okay? And I get there, and the guys are like, yeah, it's pretty quiet, you know, whatever. And we get this call, and we're like, oh, they're just like, it's a hanging. We got to go, you know, and I'm like, a hanging? Okay, all right. So I, did, I was trying to mentally prepare myself. Well, when we got there, the woman that was attempting to um, hang herself was still alive, and so the cops had arrived first, and they have to cut her down, obviously, for obvious reasons, right? Um, but the thing is, is basically the reason why the fire department was called is because if, in fact, they are still alive, they're going to have to render medical assistance, okay? So, anyways, typically police are going to be the first to be on the scene. If there is something else that's needed from somebody else, um, which there always tends to be, um, but they will call for backup. So, how about this picture? Does that look familiar to any of you guys in your rear view mirror? Yeah, I haven't had that in a while, thank goodness. But anyways, those good old police, um, they can be very helpful, obviously. Their main duties are um, rendering medical assistance. Oops, I was supposed to say they, not the. So next, they will render medical assistance. Okay, so if, if they show up on a crime scene and there are still people alive and, you know, severely hurt, whatever, they'll be the first to actually do maybe CPR, some basic first aid. Obviously, they will call in for backup for that. But also, if the perpetrators are still lurking around the scene, um, they're going to check that scene out and catch any perpetrators if they're still there. Um, secure the scene to preserve the evidence is one of the most important things because obviously if that evidence kind of walks off, yeah, that's a big deal because then you possibly could lose your case and, um, you know, what's going on in there. So finally, they're going to quickly survey the scene. They're going to call in one or more cr criminal investigators, which I'll tell you what about in just a moment. Those might be police detectives, medical examiners, coroners, or forensic scientists, okay? So again, cops are gonna be the first to be on the scene. They're typically gonna hopefully catch any perpetrators that are there. They're gonna do their basic overall kind of um, overview of the scene, what's there, the evidence, secure it, all that good stuff, okay? So there's the first people to show up. Next would be the firefighters and the paramedics. Now typically, like a 911 call, if someone were to call 911 on any kind of a thing, if there's any type of thought um, that there might be somebody that's hurt, they're going to immediately call um, and notify the firefighters and paramedics. So you might have the cops and the firefighters all show up kind of pretty close within each other. Okay. So um, obviously these people, yes, they're going to fight fires, but believe it or not, I would say 80% of a firefighter's job is medical. Um, so anytime I went on a call, it was typically a medical call. Um, you don't get a ton of structure fires, but um, firefighters are trained to obviously give first aid and, you know, all that good stuff, okay? And paramedics are trained specifically to render them medical assistance, okay? All right, police detectives, yes. So these detectives um, are called in next, okay? Um, so police detectives play in a very important role because they're, in, they're the ones that really investigate the crimes. They survey the crime scene. They interview witnesses. That's a big part of an investigator or a detective, should I say. They're going to arrest and interrogate sus suspects, they're going to write reports, and they may be called on to testify in court. Um, so anyways, the detectives have kind of a cool job, I think. You know, when you think about it, the, the first responders, those policemen, they're going to come in and do the basic thing, but the detectives that come in, they get to really um, focus on this crime scene. That's kind of their focus. Um, so that's what a police detective would do. So moving on to some more people, let's get a little bit more kind of so beyond the police investigator, now we get a little bit more specific, a crime scene investigator, okay? So a crime scene investigator is a forensic scientist. So that's the difference between a police detective 
and a crime scene investigator. A police detective goes to the police academy. My dad actually is a retired Denver cop, and by the time he retired, he was an investigator, or he was a, um, I just lost my mind, lost my train of thought. What was, oh, a detective. Hello. Um, so he was a detective. So all you need to do is basically get training within the police academy, and as you are, um, you know, in that police force, you can move up to be a detective. But a crime scene investigator does not go through the police academy. They have a forensic science degree, okay? They spe specialize in searching for evidence, collecting it, and preserving it. They're the kind of the first chain of command, so they're going to get that evidence first. They typically bag it, they make notes, um, they preserve it, and they're the first to have it. And then it goes through a chain of command of moving up, um, you know, into different, you know, people's hands, okay? But they're the first people to handle the evidence, okay? Here's just kind of a picture of what one might look like. Yes, he is, um, he's taking notes on measurements. That's one thing. Um, crime scene investigators can also be people that sketch out, photograph, different things like that in the uh, crime scene as well. Okay, lovely picture, right? Well, here's what happens if there is a victim that is not alive on the crime scene. You're gonna have coroners and medical examiners, okay? Now, a coroner and a medical examiner can sometimes be one and the same, but a lot of times they are different people. A coroner, in fact, is really an elected, go elected government official who investigates death, determines the cause of death, possible causes, you know. Um, you can't really necessarily do any set, this is what happened without an autopsy. Um, and coroners do not, they do not actually do the autopsies, but they will write the autopsy reports issue death certificates, and may or may not be a doctor. So again, a coroner cannot, they can be someone who's not a doctor, who will not perform the autopsy, that, but they will investigate the death, try to determine what caused it, give that time of death, um, which is pretty much the death certificate. Um, but on the other hand, okay, we have the medical examiner. The medical examiner is a doctor. Now again, a medical examiner can be a coroner at the same time. They can be one and the same. Okay, so a doctor that can perform an autopsy to determine the actual cause of death. So that's, there's a slight difference there, but again, sometimes they're one and the same. Okay, so there's a coroner and a medical examiner. So that's about it. There's not a lot more to go over in this section, pretty quick um, and painless, right? So um, we'll be back here for some crime scene photographs in just a moment, or whenever you choose to watch my video. Okay, bye-bye.